Um, our next guest is a small business owner, um, and they uh, have been on the show before. Oh, yes. Uh, please welcome back to the show, Entree P. Newer. How you doing, Scott? I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm all right. A little perturbed. You this is David Wayne, by the way. Hi, David. Nice to see you. David Lil Wayne. Entrepreneur. Has anyone ever called you that? David Lil Wayne. Th I love it. Can David. that be my new moniker? Yes. Do you rap? I, of course. Do you have a little penis? I got a little penis. Scott, have you I'm seen Lil Wayne? I'm not offering you Wayne's... suggestions Scott, of the subject matter Lil of your rap. Scott, have you seen Lil Wayne's dick? <laughs> Am I seeing Little Wayne's Day? I'm presuming. Why would you call Alert your, the press? Why would you call yourself Lil anything unless you had a little dick and you were proud of it? Maybe it's a stature thing. Lil Bow Wow, little dick. You've seen all these dicks. Well, you saw my dick in the locker room before we started recording. <laughs> That's right. We have a locker room here where we all shower before the show and we change. And a lot of times we take a steam. And sometimes we'll be doing the show just in towels. Uh, today we uh, we were wearing a, 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 a. You're branded by Nike, I can tell. Uh, yeah, you have the swoosh everywhere. Scott's what? wearing a robe, but his dick is poking out. Look, that's. Look, I know that with Weinstein and all that, he's finally on trial. But give me something. <laughs> I can't change that quickly. That's okay, Scott. I'm not holding it against you. Just want your listeners to know how you work. I like to hold it dread. against you. Okay. How are you, Andre? Ouch. Okay. Do you, Scott? <laughs> Yes. I'm not interested in relations. You're not. No. Well, you, you said you had a bone to pick with me, speaking I of do. bones. Bones. <laughs> Another bone, a different speaking bone. Speaking of David Boreanaz. A different bone to pick. I don't think you want your bone picked. Do you think David Boreanaz, anyone ever on the set Is of this Bones? Is the one from, oh, yes, from Bones. Anyone ever set, went up to him and said, I got a bone to pick with you, and then they laughed and they high five. David, take this one. I thought that was your new nickname for me, David Boreanaz. For moments there, I did as <laughs> David well. David Boring Wayans. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> this is your oh, chance. Too close to comfort. Hey, I'm the one with the small dick. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, uh, Andre. Hi. You know, Scott, my bone to pick with you is that you called me a small business owner. I'm not a business owner. I'm an inventor. You are an inventor. I'm sorry. original ideas. I'm sorry. You have never, you don't have a small business where you have the capital in order to make these I'm seeking ideas. capital. You need the capital. And David Wayne, by the way, I a, lot of, a lot of passive income from in his it. various projects. I David. do a lot of seeding. Financial seed money that that I put in escrow until you, it can yeah you basically like mature. plant a few seeds watch these babies grow but if you have something to pitch I'd be willing to put in a couple million dollars to hear the pitch okay just to hear the just pitch? to hear the pitch I have lost a lot of money this I way. typically <laughs> accept Bitcoin but I will take a couple million I will take a couple million and uh, a couple now, we're talking to it's gonna take me just a little bit to put together the cash that's a lot of money. You have a lot of, uh, uh, you have, like we mentioned, passive income, but uh, you're not really entirely liquid, you were telling well, me. I want aggressive income. Okay? Yeah, I don't know that I'm that liquid. I, I do, I have All certain, right. I have hobbies, but go on. Okay. Okay, now, Entre. Yes, Scott. Uh, I should warn you, David, that Entre's been on the show before. Okay. And Entre tends to Why have. Why does that require a warning? <laughs> What did you I, just why say? does that require warning? <laughs> Consider myself horned. <laughs> you are horned. Why do you why do you feel you need to horn them? Well, <laughs> well I, I I just your your ideas have never borne fruit necessarily into uh, Have you borne fruit? I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Well, I don't you know what you're know, talking about. You wouldn't about. understand. Do you want me to part this robe? If you were a woman, <laughs> you wouldn't know what it is to bore fruit. And just to be clear, David, Wayne, I'm not a woman. Okay. I'm a, there's I, a there's a bit of d discrepancy in our memories about that, <laughs> about I, whether you're a, wo a woman. I believe, or... if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I believe I am a man. Okay. And the, and my my belief is that may not have been established. Uh, you know, well, Scott, consider it established. But for 2020. 2020, it's a new decade. Andre Pinuer is a gentleman who uh, has come in here and has uh, pitched us various things. And my, my the one problem that I would say, Andre, is that you tend to pitch You're things. You're a hater. <laughs> it's not that I'm a Aside hater. Aside from that problem, what well, else? Uh, you tend to pitch. Well, I don't even want to spoil it because uh, I, I want David to just have a fresh. I like fresh to hear ears. the pitch fresh, or else that it fresh, clouds my judgment. Fresh pitch for you, David Lowey. Okay, so I'm thinking of something. I'd like your two million dollars. What it is is something that is rectangular in shape. 
<laughs> base. The base, excuse me, hear me out. Okay. Everything's a bit you, of a rectangle. Well, well, you seem to you seem to focus primarily, if I may be so bold, on rectangular things. Because I think when you pitched us a hospital, sure, it was basically a rectangle. Was it a rectangle? I think it was. No mm. offense, Scott. A lot of things are rectangular. Thank that you very true. much. Thank I, you very no much. Offense. Many no things offense. are born no, of a none rectangle. Taken. None Many taken. things are born of a rectangle. Rectangular base. Okay. It's con- it's going to be connected to the ground. Okay. Okay. Or maybe do some molding around it, connected to the ground, and then another rectangle uh, upright on a different on a, on another side. So connected it's like to that an one. upside down T. I'm just sketching yes, this out. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Then we're going to so go. So sort of like the uh, Titans Tower from the Teen Titans, but upside down. Right. Like an upside down Time Out sign on a sports field. Right. Okay. Okay. So you know what a sports field is. Of course. Come and on. You know the Scott. rules. So I'm that not a damned a idiot. Okay. I'm not a stupid. Okay. The top of it is an oval. A top. A top of the upside. You're down. so focused on shapes. Are you? What do you what have against shapes? Well, I'm, just, shape I'm trying is. to figure out what you're this a shape is. is. It's a rectangle, and then another Scott, rectangle, then an oval. Well, well, we have an upside down T. And it, on the top the of oval is kind of the oval is kind of on. Is not upright per se. It's on its side. Oh, sort of like the basis. Anyway, are you t- pitching the Leaning Tower of Pisa? No, no, okay. Scott. Uh, no, like I would never. That exists already. Why would I pitch that? This is a basketball hoop. No, you're gonna sit on top of it and let your dookie out, <laughs> okay. let your pee pee out. <laughs> okay. And then there's gonna now be a I little, see. Let, yeah, let Why your all the talk about rectangles when you're you're pitching a toilet? I don't have a name for it, Scott. Thank you. That's brilliant. I love it. Toilet. It, it exists. It, a toilet. it exists Never already. Never heard of it. Never heard you of it. You don't use a toilet? Never heard what of it. What do you use? To do what? To do what you just said, the dookies. To dookies? Well, not dookies. To dookies. I, I do it right where I am, <laughs> wherever I find myself. Wherever you lay your hat? Wherever I lay my hat. Is your home? Yes. Which is never near a toilet? I don't know what that is. If y'all want to call it a toilet. <laughs> I, what is your house like? I'm you don't have a you... mattress? You don't have a toilet? Where do you live? Where do I live? With my <laughs> mother. Well, she's well, that, dead. Well, that, that explains it. That explains she's it. She's dead. I don't own a home. She's dead. She's dead. She's but she dead. still lives there? No, I just call it her house. But So you know what a house is? Because I think you pitched me those ones. Is that what that's called? Yes. Okay. I love the sound of it. Okay. I love to see it. What kind of house doesn't have a toilet? D- David so just drew I one. I can it's tell you. Uh, David a, drew. A house that doesn't have a toilet. David. A bird house. <laughs> Thank you, David. You're right. That was great. You're right. A bird house doesn't have a David, toilet. David Touché. drew what looks like a vanity mirror. So you know what a vanity mirror is. Why is, is that so alarming to you, Scott? What yeah, is, you, what is in your bathroom? What a, a vanity and that's it? A and si- vanity, what about sinks? A vanity and a, couple, and a sink. One sink so and a vanity. So you know what sinks are? Sure, yes. So you know what plumbing is? What is, no, why do you have to complicate things? What, what, where does the water go in your sink? I don't know. It Do just you know? disappears? Where does your water go in your sink, Scott? It go, it goes, Where exactly does it end up, Scott? Go, you have two seconds. In the Pacific go. Ocean. Oh, Interesting. All I know is if someone said to me, describe a toilet, I would say an upside down T with an oval (laughs) on top. All right, look, we need to get to our next guest. Uh, He is a lawyer. Please welcome to the show, Italiano Jones. Hello, thank you for having me. My name is Italiano Jones and I will fight for you. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, I Mr. Jones. I work for the law offices of Italiano Jones and Associates and other miscellaneous items. Hmm, Okay. That sounds great. What type of cases? Uh, by the way, this is uh, Entrepreneur. How you doing, young sir? How are you? I'm Italiano Jones of Italiano Jones and Law Services and Miscellaneous Other Items. Mm-hmm. And this is David Wayne. Hello, Hello David. Of, of nice Wayne Scotty, uh, Jimmy 2 TMZ. It seems like your uh, law firm changed its name in the last couple of minutes. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> My law offices never change their name. We will fight for you. I heard that you came here in an Amalamps. <clears throat> Yes, I did. <laughs> Would you like? Uh, did they? Did Can they, you spell amber lamps? <laughs> I will spell it for you. Absolutely, <laughs> amber lamps. A M B U L A N C E. Amber lamps. <laughs> he, he's right. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, Black Betty. Amber lamps. <laughs> <laughs> a, a very a law office joke. Sounds like I found my lawyer. Would Would you not agree? An ambulance is a very rectangular vehicle. Yes, they mostly are rectangles. I but know in Europe, what, what those exist. Those in, exist. You know about those. Yeah. In Europe, they are oblong. Are they now? Yes, I would know. I am from Italy. 
You are. Yes. I, I wondered, Italiano Jones, is that a nickname? Why do you sound like you're from Chicago? <laughs> it is a family name from Italy. I am from Italy. <laughs> what part of Italy are you from? Tuscany. And why is your family name your first name? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do things in Italy. Oh, I see. It's a, I wasn't aware of that. Can you right. spell so, Italy? in other words, everyone in Italy is called Italiano or something. Can you spell it? Can you spell it? I-T-A-L-Y, Italy. Mm. What type of law do you practice, Italiano? I practice all types of law. Do you have a case? Are you in any type of trouble? Have you been injured in an accident? Have you been injured in a, a self-inflicted wound? Self-inflicted wound? <laughs> Who am I going to sue if it's a self-inflicted wound? We can sue th- th- thousands of people. We can sue so many people. <laughs> Who do you sue? I, I guess the, you. the makers of the weapon that I use? We can, smoo- we can sue <laughs> Smith & Wesson. We can sue just Wesson cooking oil. Italiano! <laughs> if you slipped on a bottle of Wesson cooking oil. On the you, bottle itself, not, not the yourself. product? Yes. Oh, yeah. And you shot yourself. How ironic would that be? You, you Think f- about this. You are holding a gun. And you are also <laughs> frying something in your kitchen. Why would I and be you, doing that? <laughs> and you put the bottle down. Am I down. trying to defend myself while I'm frying? Am I, in are case, there, you live in a rough Maybe you can't find a spoon and you've got to stir with something. Okay. You, you live in south, stir with something. You live in South Italy, like me. <laughs> I grew up in a rough neighborhood. Oh, yeah. The streets was tough. The, the uh, pointy toe of that boot? The pointy toe of the boot, absolutely. Mm-hmm. The pointy heel of the boot. Did you grow up with the Godfather? I grew up with a Godfather. His name was Roy. It's <laughs> not Italiano? No, my name is Italiano. It's a family name. <laughs> okay. Italiano, you sound like Mike Tyson. S.C. Johnson and Wax. It's a family company. <laughs> you sound like Mike Tyson. You ever heard of Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson, yes, I love him. Yeah, what do you love him for? I love <laughs> what everything. What part of his career? <laughs> you love, be careful now. What do you love? You know, I represented him in a case. You, oh, no. Which one? I will tell you. <laughs> Please he, do. <laughs> we have a deal. He, he, once he bought did a, just ask you to. <laughs> he once bought a tiger online. Oh. And when the box came, the tiger was not in it. Oh, it no. was just a skeleton. Oh, no. Skeleton so, of a tiger or a human skeleton? A human skeleton. <laughs> what? This is, it gets weirder. And so we went and found the company that sold him the uh, the tiger box. Skeleton. The tiger box. Skeleton. And he got to keep the skeleton, too. I okay, will who fight skele- for you. Did you ever feel you? Uh, that's great. You fought for him. But where did the human skeleton come from? The, uh, we do not know. We did not get <laughs> well, that. You got to find that this is the mystery. We did not get that evidence. All we did was get him a real tiger, and he got to keep the human skeleton, and now it is up in his living room, and it wears a doctor's lab coat. <laughs> I will fight for you. Thanks to you. Thanks to me. So this Italiano is Jones of Italiano Jones Law, miscellaneous <laughs> services, and items of law. So he has a skeleton wearing a doctor's lab coat like he's in a vaudeville sketch? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. We all love vaudeville. We go to watch vaudeville movies at Mike Tyson's house all the time. <laughs> you do, really? Which one? Private theater. Oh, I'll tell you. We watch The Producers. Oh, you ever seen this, Entree? The Producers? Yeah. Never heard of it. No? No. We watch The Directors? Only thing I've ever seen is The Wide. I guess I was talking about a movie theater. (laughs) Oh, a theater? Yeah, you ever heard of that? Describe it to me. Rectangular, rectangular. definitely. Okay. Definitely there's a rectangular thing in the front. I yeah. follow. And then there's a rectangular. Th- there's definitely a rectangular thing that you, that you go through in order yeah. to get I there. I follow. Okay. And then what happens? You sit down on what I could only describe as a couple of rectangles <laughs> upside Scott, down. Everybody knows what a chair is, you <laughs> dumbass. Have you been injured in a chair? Have you stood on top of a chair and tied a rope around your neck and jumped off? Well, I will <laughs> then fight you for you. You would be dead. <laughs> I, I think will you fight would be for dead. you. I want to sue this ambulance company that let me get out of the ambulance <laughs> yeah, on the this way to the hospital. You want to sue the ambulance to do a podcast? What is the company called? It's called. I think it's called Ron's Ambulance. Oh, they have that same brand in Italy. Okay, oh. I have sued them before, and I will sue them again because I will fight for you. But but I you, am here from the law offices. Of yeah, we know where you're from. Italiano Jones. But it's Italiano seems, Jones, what kind of money am I going to get out of this? I could get you thousands. I could get you hundreds. I could get you millions. How much money do you want, David Wayne? Thousands. You want thousands? <laughs> you want the thousands instead of the millions? <laughs> yeah, I just that's what I mean. You don't be greedy, David Wayne. All I need is the evidence. <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. If you, maybe you and I could go into business together. How dare you? We're already in business together. This is how I dare. Okay, so maybe you have people to sue. We could go to a place to have these kind of suings and trials. All right, you know what a lawsuit is, but you don't know where they take place. A lawsuit is a silk suit you wear to a rectangle. (laughs) I do all of my suings in one courtroom. Which one? 
the LA Municipal County Courtroom. Okay, well, oh, I fly yeah. all my cases here. That's a rectangular room. I've been there. Yes. Yeah, very rectangular. It's almost like y'all have been to this place. Yeah. What's it? It's called LA Municipal. It's LA like municipal. six rectangles. Six rectangles. Six rectangles. Yeah, and just then like what? the Olympic logo. And then what? Okay, <laughs> I understand. So some of them are stacked upon one another. Have you ever been injured by the Olympic logo? <laughs> Did one of them fall off the Olympics and hit you in the face? That actually did happen yeah, to me. I will fight for you. That happened to you, Andre? It did happen to, to me. Andre. It did happen to me. I was hit by the red ring. Was it Alberta, 1988, the Winter Olympics? Yes. Yes, oh, and. Perfect. <laughs> perfect? perfect. That, is the only, that is the only Olympics I am allowed to preside yes, over. Yes, and. Well, You're not allowed to preside over any other any Olympics. Any other Olympics. Okay. Why is that? Uh, well, I have been banned from all other Olympic procedurals. Procedurals? <laughs> <laughs> so you're allowed to sue though that particular Olympics, if especially if the logo falls on somebody. Oh, and, and, and luckily, also Lake Placid, 1982. Oh, okay. Well, I was. I was. I'm looking for a quick check. It's a little late for Lake Placid, but great. I was. Lake Alberta. Placid. Were you bitten Alberta. by the big alligator in Lake Placid? No. <laughs> There's a giant alligator who lives in Lake Placid. His name is Steve. I'd Steve, like, if he bites you, I will fight for you. How many I, people has, has Steve bitten? Oh, Steve has bitten thousands of people. Thousands. Everybody who goes to Lake Placid to ice skate, and the ice is never hard enough, and they fall through. But just just for conflict of interest reasons, I have to ask: Have you ever defended Steve? I have never defended Steve in a court of law. I have, however, defended Steve to his mother when he came out. Out of the closet? <laughs> yes. The alligator? What did you say to Steve's mother? Like, said, what a good friend you are. She was very upset with Steve when he came out because she's a homophobe. <laughs> and I said... she's. They're both alligators, right? Yes. <laughs> and she said... Ow, well, ow, what ow. is your point, David, that alligators can't be homophobes? Well, now, wait a minute. Don't get. Don't drag me into this. <laughs> drag him, Scott. Drag him. Drag Cancel him. him. Drag him, sis. I feel like all <laughs> alligators can do what they please as long as they don't eat me. Drag him. Drag so you think sis. they can be homophobes? <laughs> you want them to be homophobes? Now, wait a second here. Uh, this Somebody is, is about to get canceled. <laughs> Italiano, can I sue Scott for entrapment? You absolutely can. <laughs> oh, no. Where are you going to do the suing? Do it. I have a new space for you. <laughs> a new space. It's a it's a rectangle. I won't do six because that is that is excessive. We only need one rectangle. You can enter. In that rectangle, there'll be other rectangles. Why would you need behind? to enter if there's just one on the ground? <laughs> Well, it's going to be sort of a three-dimensional rectangle, which I have now learned, thanks to your wonderful listeners, is a cuboid. So, <laughs> cuboid. <laughs> All right, so cuboid. Oh, cuboid. Cuboid. Oh, cute boys. Oh, cuboid. <laughs> Boyd, please get on your mark. Okay. So, <laughs> cuboid. Okay. Boyd. Anyway, we don't need to bother ourselves with Boyd, but <laughs> it's a cue Boyd. You'd enter. Inside, there will be a judge. Yes, I've heard of a judge, Scott. Mm. Don't you dare start to ask me. I've heard of a judge. Where do you think a judge usually works? A judge usually works from home. From home. <laughs> A judge works from Until home. your innovation, which you're in the middle of pitching. <laughs> exactly. Why exactly. would a judge who gets to work from home right. want to travel to another place? I would think because that's one of the benefits are, of being a are, home-based judge. Scott, most judges are unsuccessful. The legal system is going to shit in this country. She because is of lack correct. of cuboid rooms. Because there are not enough cuboid rooms in which to hold sue-ins. Le so, you, you think the legal system is going to hell here? The, the legal system is going to hell, just like you, Scott. Luckily, you are going to hell in a handbasket with gasoline draws on. Luckily, Light them up. I am friends Sis. with many judges. Sis. You're friends with many judges? I am friends with many judges. Spell judges. <laughs> <laughs> Spell judges. J-U-D-G-S. So do you feel like the judges' problem is that they're all working from home? That's the problem with our legal system? They're all, all work from home. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, speaking of winning the suit, I've been meaning to announce this. There is going to be a suit that I'm going to be giving away to one of your lucky listeners. You're giving away a... And you can win the suit. Meaning uh, a, a dress suit? Yeah, it's a three-piece oh, wow. suit. Three it's, pieces? It's a felt... Uh, so we're talking a, vest, pants, and vest, jacket? pants, jacket. Wipe me down. It's a two-button suit. Yeah, wipe... <laughs> she's already all wet over this. He what? is, he is. Come he, on, David. Please stop misgendering no, me in 2020. I, I said he... I will represent you for misgendering. I'm, I'm, the way I'm, I pronounce I'm he is court. he. We're going to yeah. court. If any <laughs> listeners do want to win this suit... How, how, do, you, how do they get involved in this contest? We're gonna, there's going to be... The fifth caller we're taking 
taking right now at our 800 number. We're taking calls right now? Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let's uh, let's go to the phones here. Caller, are you there? Hello. Hi, you're caller number one. Ah! Sorry, click. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello? Hey! Caller, caller you're hey! Ca- hey, you're caller hey! number two. Oh, cool. You don't win. No. Bye. Caller, are you there? Your mother, your mother's a jerk. <laughs> My mother's a jerk? Well, yeah, fuck you. You're caller number three. You're you caller are. number three. Click. Caller, are you there? I'm on the radio with T-Pain. <laughs> no, T-Pain's not around. But you're only caller number four. You were so close. Uh, All right, bye. Click. Caller, are you there? 911, what's your emergency? Hey, this is caller number five. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think, the, I think the phone lines got crossed here. 911, what's your emergency? We ma'am. accidentally called 911. What's your emergency? We. I what's d- your emergency? Ma'am, can I get your name? Because you have just won a suit. Sharon, I hope well. That's amazing. What's your emergency? Uh, it's a three-piece suit. Does that change your tune at all? Or oh, okay. Vest included. I love that. A lot of suits are only two pieces these okay. days. Okay, all right. But do you have an emergency? Uh, I guess it's an emergency that we get this suit to you. Isn't that right? I called you. Isn't that something? <laughs> Wait, is this Sharon? <laughs> yeah. Sharon from 911? Italiano? This is Italiano Jones of Italiano Jones Law Services. I thought Services. you were never going to talk to me again. I'm sorry I said that. I'm and pregnant. What? Scott, hang up the phone. <laughs> it's not that hanging up the phone. This is juicy shit. Hang up the shit. phone, Scott. Oh, tell me, I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm I'm seven and a half months pregnant. I've been You're trying ready to, to reach, go. I'm ready to go. The, the, is, uh, is it Italiano's baby? I I do believe so. I, I've only ever you slept believe with so. Ita- I believe so. I've only ever slept with Italiano. He told me he was shooting blanks. <laughs> That is correct. I do shoot blanks. <laughs> but this day, but this the blanks fired. <laughs> Just like if you were cooking well, in your you, kitchen. Why, the, why, why is every one of your lawsuits cooking related? <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, now that you have the suit, I think that solves it. That you know, can get married. I'd love in to this mar- suit. I would love to marry you in this suit. That suit is worth thousands. Okay. Use that for the baby. Scott, hang up the phone. <laughs> no, I'm not hanging up the phone. Italiano. <laughs> you're, you're a deadbeat dad, I Italiano. liked you. I liked you. You told me that every woman you met to this point thought you were stupid, didn't take you seriously, <laughs> and that you appreciated that I saw your worth and your intelligence and what made you unique and special. And then you, you left. I well, did he, appreciate it. He confided <sighs> into me that he did not want to feel like he was associated with a 911 operator as his main squeeze. Oh, that you didn't what, really? That is, that is what you call Are a conflict of interest. Me? That is a I conflict of interest. I help people. I help people. I also help people. How Have you ever sweat. been injured? How is that a conflict of interest if you're both helping people? <laughs> <laughs> because I work against them. I am. Oh, suing. you sued 911. I am going to sue 911. Okay, I'm getting calls for other emergencies at this point. So if you could take my you number, you have an emergency. I, Italiano, You're... Yeah, Italiano, please take my number down. Call I'm me again. N- it's 911. I, I will not be able to award the suit. I'm sorry. Just looking at the bylaws until unless you give me your full address right now. Okay, my full address. Scott, is, hang up the phone. <laughs> my full address, Italiano. I'd love to see you. I'm located at 5959 Emergency Lane. Mm-hmm. Emergency lane. How ironic That's is that? That's where the dispatch. Uh, it's how funny and goofy. Um, emergency <laughs> lane. <laughs> it always makes nine one one's got to be funny. Los and goofy. Angeles, California. Nine one one six nine. All right, you'll expect that nine one one and then a sixty nine. <laughs> is that what you guys were involved in? Yeah, it was an emergency. He called me. He said he had an emergency. This is how <laughs> and we it turned into met. a sixty nine. It turned into a full blown sixty nine. Don't oh, let people tell you that blown. you cannot get someone pregnant. <laughs> Doing 69. <laughs> you absolutely can. She just went down the wrong pipe. It went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> oh, she no. started to cough, and now she is saying, I love this nonsense. Oh, no. <laughs>